Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Roland, and welcome to Flashback Games. Today we're starting off on episode 4 of Fate, continuing from where we left off. As you can see, I used the dungeon gear from our last little adventure, or the gold from our last little adventure of delving into the dungeon, to buy some additional gear. Got ourselves a little hat, and some gloves. Now we're going to go with continue game, and I'll show you some of the new stuff I fished up while I was grinding um, yesterday. Alrighty, and here we are. Alright, I want you to see, uh, I got some really good stuff while I was fishing. Like, uh, as I told you, if you remember earlier, that I basically didn't want to fish off camera. Or I didn't want to fish on camera because it would be too tedious. And it just didn't seem right to fish for more than a couple of seconds, you know, maybe a minute or two. Uh, but I got some really great items, so I wanted to show you some of them in my inventory. Now, this is the fingerling arrow fish, archer fish, or what have you. It's another one of the fishes that transforms my pet into a dungeon mob. But as you can see, I got all of these fishes and a ruby with 25 fire resistance and 6 fire damage to a weapon when it's, when it's installed. Wait. Adds plus six fire damage to weapon when installed. I'm probably gonna put it on that thing. Then of course I got all these awesome fish, but I also got a couple of rare items. The steel buckle high defense belt, and these two crush bar attack strength um, stabs. Now, the cool thing is, this is crush bar and this is blackened basher. These are really rare items. They're some of the rarest in the game. Uh, I believe it goes purple is uncommon. What are, what are you doing out of the graveyard? It's come out of the graveyard. Kill it with fire. I wish I could swing my weapon at it. <laughs> but um, there's some of the rarest in the game. I believe it goes purple is uncommon. Uh, green is rare. And then gold is like super rare. And oh wait. No, no, no. I, I want to sell. Well, I'll, I'll sell him the, the belt. I'll sell him the belt. Don't be wasting my time. I won't be wasting your time. Now, look at how much it sells for, too. I got so lucky and just fished those up. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and sell them, though, because, you know, I'm thinking, oh, they're super rare items. I shouldn't sell them. I should totally keep them for myself. But the truth of the matter is, I don't have the required stats to actually have them on my character. So I should just sell them and, and get... Uh, better stuff soon as soon as I can What I'm gonna want now is probably To sell the crush bar and the blackened staff to the mage How may I help you? She's got let's see You know, I actually want to make a couple of slots spaces available for this. Oh Another thing that I bought with the money that um, the gold that we had from going into the dungeon last time before I died of poison damage that is is this awesome little summon rat spell it summons three level one rats to aid the caster plus one to rats level per charm skill level duration of summoning is one minute plus ten seconds per charm skill level maximum of six summoned creatures so that'll help me out and get some little allies to my side I technically wanted to go for more of a healer type you know deal but uh, at the time, she wasn't selling the spell that allows me to heal myself. Because, see, this is greater heal spell. I don't have enough mana for that. I need lesser heal. And she won't put it up for some reason. And technically, there's other little summon spells that I could get. And I'm pretty tempted to get that summon spider spell. <sighs> oh, man. It's, it's not like it's going to hold me back any. Oh, man. And there's spectral armor with defense magic skill. Yeah, let's buy ourselves some spells. This is summons three level one spiders to aid the caster. Plus one to spiders level per charm skill level. Okay, so I'll make spiders and rats. That means maybe the spiders have higher attack, but they have lower defense. Maybe the rats have higher attack and the spider and, and lower defense, and they'll sort of cover uh, cover for each other's weaknesses. I can sort of buy Resist Ice and Ringing Blast, but 
Uh, what the heck? I'm rich. Can't buy that. Can't. Well, can't. Can't cast that. I just buy all this stuff I can cast. Sounds awesome to me. Inventory. Now we're gonna right click. You have learned a new spell. And learn all of these. You have learned a new spell. Yeah. A new spell has been learned. Yeah, sucker. And then we're gonna put this in there. Now it's plus six fire damage. We've got all of our fish for our cat. And our main two weapons. Now let's go back in there. Oh wow, cool. It's got flame effect. I wonder if there's any way that I can deposit my gold so it doesn't get lost in the dungeon. That would be awesome. Let me show you what I have to sell. Now that I have plenty of H or now that I have plenty of uh, money, but I can't buy the healing spell, I'll get some healing charms. Hopefully they'll last us. The the thing is, it's a super healing charm. Oh, dang it, I shouldn't have bought that. The regular healing charm is more than enough to actually fill up the entire health bar of a character at this low of a level. What about the ma uh, main Come closer. general I'm items merchant? To cut you yeah, you might want to cut me a, a deal. Group heal spell that will heal me and my minions. Charm monster? I didn't know I could do that. That's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. S Military Spear of Smoothness. Spear class. Oh, wow. Fire resistance. Fire. Plus six damage to undead to weapon when installed. This has only got one slot, though. Oh, sweet. Leather armor. No, it requires too much strength. Oh, wow. The machete. It's an orc cleaver. Do you have any healing spells, my good man? Uh, I'll take your health potions. I'll take all of your healthy potions. I guess I'll put the big ones in the back. Or big ones in the front. Little ones in the back. Something like that. Man. That's all he's got, huh? That's rough. Alright, I can live with that. What about you? Well, what can I do for you? Oh, I just bought stuff from you. Well, why don't I buy these then? They should last me a good bit. Is there any way to just instantly... There we go. Now I don't have to drag them all the way over there. Just hold down shift and click on them. And it'll automatically put it into an available slot. Oh, that's so nice. And I think I'll buy a couple of antidotes. For obvious reasons. That huh. is impossible. Blasted. Sell one of these. Alright. We are good to go. Let's go show those ugly mobs who's the boss now. Yeah. Alright. We got this. Wait, no. That's level one. Oops. Let's see. Do we still have all three of our quests? Okay. See, this is why I wanted to start the episode a little late so that you wouldn't have to go through all that tedious. You step into the portal. Um. You wouldn't have to. So that you wouldn't have to go through all that tedious. Um, gathering and, and, and pre preparation. That tedious preparation, basically. Oh man, Abomination for 120 seconds, Basilisk for 300 seconds, Nocturne Stalker for 120 seconds, Dire Unicorn, I, I, oh uh, wow, Ebony Stalker, I eat up, Greater Basilisk, Dire Wolf, let's get to it. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. Your pet has been transformed. Oh snap, he's a spider. Um, and then I think you right click. Hoo! Hey, <laughs> Wait, no, no, that's. Oh. Oh, well, I guess we're all spiders now. Hey, he's the biggest one. God, this is creepy. I hate spiders. Ah, get away from me, you skittering bat. <laughs> Alright, let's explore the area some. 
Alrighty. Your like, pack is full. oh, that's right. Um, shift and let him pick it up for now, because my pack is very full. For a while, I'm gonna let my summons take the um, take the front of the attack. Let's see if I can't get some spectral armor going on here. Uh, ringing blast, resist ice. I don't know if resist ice is really going to be... Wait. Can I not do it? Alright, ice resistance. I don't know how... Whoa! I don't know how well uh, resist ice will actually be uh, to me right now. Because it doesn't last for very long with my current charm level. Whoa! And neither do my summons. Summon rats! Hua! Shamalaha, shamalaha! Summon rats! Woohoo! Here they are! They seem a little bit bigger than usual. Like, you guys are freaking huge! Get em, boys! Let's summon some spiders. There we go! Now we're sneezing it. Sneezy, sneezy way. <laughs> I got that statement from a friend of mine. Goblin flinger, the devourer. You fling goblins, bro. What you got against gobs? You are overburdened. Lord have mercy. Wait, mage's garment socketed. I, I kind of need that now. Let me check all this out real quick. Saber. Inventory, mage's garment. Oh, nice. I'm kind of a mage. 32 magic. You guys suck. <laughs> I'll hold on to that for now. Hold up. Oh, uh, I do not have a spot for this. Like, any friggin' where. Oh, gosh. I, I can't let my pet sell it by accident. What What is it? Defense 18? That's awesome. I need that. Like, oh so very badly. It requires six slots. I would have to fill up a lot of slots. Um, I've got an idea. Let's take potion number three and put the antidote over curses. I thought I thought I had one more space. Um, I'm sorry, sword. I'll come back for you later, and you too, buckler. Um. Let's take, oh wait, no, yeah, we took antidote number three, that clears up that space, this clears up this space, and then we have enough space for this, yes. And that is resource management. Fortunately though, now my, now my sword and shield are at risk. I'm kind of liking this pike thing though. Whoa, and there, hey, I put on a leather vest, I dig me. Yeah, you, you auto-equip it whenever it's just you, or whenever you don't have enough items in your inventory. To bring it on! You cannot carry enough. Ah, oh, blast it! Can't carry enough. Let's get the spear and the small shield. Oh, I wish I wasn't fighting this cold right now. I'd be able to, you know, say so much more, make it so much more epic. You cannot carry any more. Blast it! Okay, let's get some summons out here real quick. First the spiders, and then the rats. Someday I'll be able to heal myself too. Hopefully. That would be awesome. I still haven't completed a quest yet though, and I've actually beaten a couple of, a couple of the mobs. Like quite a few of them. Well, speak of the devil, here's another boss. Tooth Juggler the Snatcher. Okay, get ready with the heels. Nice, pet leveled up. Now let me check his inventory to make sure that he doesn't have any quest items on him. Ooh, he's got a lot of unidentified stuff. I kind of need to get on that. Improved chance of block, saber. Oh man, he's got a bunch of stuff I need to identify, but I don't have the book for it. 
Uh, I don't want to go back yet. Just to identify stuff. I'm not doing it. I'll identify it when I do get back. I want to fight. Are you on my team? I will kill you, rat. I will kill you dead. I will end your life. Wait a minute. Hold up now. That's that fishmonger from earlier, isn't it? Oh, hey, you remember me, right, bro? Oh, Wraith Crawler. <gasps> you! You possibly may have contributed to my death. Your fame has increased. You have attained the rank of tolerated. <laughs> tolerated. Did I really just level up in the middle of a boss fight? I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, okay. Quest it's completed. Nice. Quest completed. It's at the end of the boss fight. Yeah. Everything. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Spell. Get him, kitty. The f Did he really just... No. None shall escape. We leave no witnesses. What the... Oh, well. We left no witnesses. None shall know of our of our destruction um maybe I could sell some stuff to him to free up some space yeah then click on him yeah my cat sells stuff to him let's get some of these shields off so if you're ever on the game and you need to free up space real quick hold down shift then click on the merchant and your pet will sell items to them or at least you can sell items directly from your pets inventory cloth belt of blocking Improved chance of block. I think I've got a better belt than that, and if I don't, it's fine. Uh, gold amulet. Since it looks pretty, I'll enchant it later and let my pet have it. I need to keep one of those shields. Uh, small shield. Buckler. Buckler. Small shield. I kind of wasted money buying that back, but, but hey, it's all good. And I just need one of these swords. Th two through seven. Three through nine. And this one's possibly, this one's enchanted with some, possibly something good. So we're going to sell both of these and keep the, that's a, a saber, right? Yeah, saber. I was going to call it a centaur, but I could have just cheated and read it. Okay, pet, pick up all of the stuff on the ground. Clean up after yourself and us. Thank you. A chest I didn't get the chance to open because I was too busy getting killed. Yay! What's this? I didn't get to explore over here. Kill this crate. Open this weapons. Get the spike club. Kill the mob. Nice. So now I can finally say that I have conquered level 3. After it beat the ever living stuffing out of me. There's a little teensy weensy bit over here. A little uh, mottled lurker spider. We're gonna drink potion number two. Full heal. I really gotta start drinking the smaller ones first. Let's see now. Because I bet I didn't need all that. Uh, did we get everything? Did we go all throughout here? Yeah, it looks like we sure as heck did. What about all the other quests at level three? Um, what's, what's quests? Spell book, inventory, character stats. Sorry about this. I guess it's, uh, quests. There we go. Q. Why didn't I just press Q? Gavito's quest. Retrieve Yezgrimar's light belt of strength from level 3. Your reward is a flaming crude morning star of basics. Light belt of strength? And this is destroy dragon fighter, the nocturne fungus on level 3, and return ghoul. Ghoul Kicker's Horse Warrior's Chain of Dexterity. Your reward is an Apprentice Hat of Warriors. I don't remember seeing any of these guys. I'm on level 3. Do I already have... Are they up against this little... This little strip right there? Inventory. Pets inventory. Do I have any of these items? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go check that last little strip there. And see if... um, See if these enemies... Uh, might be in that last little area whoa something's here dragon fighter and there he was wow hiding right off in the distance spectral armor Not enough mana. oh I don't have enough mana I gotta get in there anyway man he is tough look at we got six things on him you have been granted new skin Woo! and I've been leveling up this is a good episode look at all this this stuff up oh, and there's the, the ghoul kickers is completed. quest is completed 
Got that. All right. I, I think the last guy is going to be around here somewhere. We just got to find him before uh, before we uh, log out. Let's um, let's go around very carefully. Nothing back here, is there? Because, see, the monsters tend to wander. They do it on purpose. Uh, this episode might run a little long, but I want to see him KO'd. I want to take him out before we end the episode. Let's see, Cracked Urn, Clay Urn. He's back here somewhere, I just know it. Hiding. Waiting to ambush us. But little does he know, we're coming with a full force. Uh, uh, where are you? You dirty rat. There is one thing I can do that might help out. If in case we've already... Com if we've already... Just in case we've already defeated him, and I'm just not aware... And the item that he had was just dropped. Um, we can also turn on toggle reveal all items. Now all items on the ground that I can't normally see would be revealed. Like see, like see how those barrels are revealed, and I can see their names now. Now all the items that are on the ground that I haven't picked up yet will be revealed. Fifteen gold over here. Let's see quests. The one that's not completed, did he have Light Belt of Strength from level 3? Retrieve Yez Grimoire's Light Belt of Strength from level 3 to reward as a Flaming Crew Morningstar Basics. Inventory. Pets inventory. Do I see anything that's like a belt? Nope, nope, because quest inventory items are automatically have the uh, Q symbol next to them for quest. So it's somewhere here. And I just can't see it. Well, you know what? I'm going to go on ahead and end the episode uh, right outside and go on back to town. Uh, that way it's, you know, I'll, I'll find it. I'll find it off. I'll find it off the uh, off recording. You know, I'll find it. I'll turn it in during the next episode and we'll complete all three quests together. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe, it really does help, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!